John D. Alden welcomes you to 50 Plus Cinematographers Group. Good morning, JD's Cinematographers. Still coming to you from Tawong. I welcome you. Today is Saturday the... I think it's the 8th. No. Today is Saturday the 9th. And I'll be uploading this probably Monday to YouTube channel. Um, reading my notes as usual. The video which I turned 90 degrees for you to have a little bit of homework to turn back the correct way, I uploaded that in the previous email. So you can work on it from there. Helen is a little bit in the sore knee department. So um, my darling wife had a knee replacement recently. So you might be joining her, uh, Helen. Uh, if, if, if not, well, I um, hope to see you back soon. Um, I was having another bit of a look at VLC uh, Media Player and um, you can turn the uh, video around, um, whatever, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, uh, there's quite a few different settings in there that you can do, um, brightness and cropping and so forth. But uh, w once you've done that and then you've left VLC and come back later or another day or whatever, those settings are still there. So it's, uh, it's an idea not to uh, change any of those settings. Uh, email going into spam, it's still happening. Uh, Sue Viney. Um, I think all of your emails to me now are going to my um, junk folder and uh, some of my emails going out also into junk folder. Um, Robert, he has worked out with his uh, provider ISP to uh, filter the, the junk ones out which can be done from your provider as well as um, in the email. Um, application itself. Uh, it's not as uh, big a show today, although I think it might be uh, about the same duration, but I'd like to um, hear and see more contact from people. Uh, send me some video clips. Um, Sue has agreed that uh, I can use any of her um, DVD video clips that she sent and over the years. So it's just a matter of me going through and finding out where the interesting spots are because uh, most of her ones are at least a half an hour or so. Uh, will be the short clip with Amy uh, interviewing Helen. That's right. Uh, interviewing Helen. Now I've only cut it very short. Only Oh, I can't remember now, maybe 10, 20 seconds, and I've um, decreased the high definition to low definition. You can just see if you can see any difference. Of course, there will be some difference uh, in me having to uh, render it again for this upload. Two is using Format Factory to reduce the file size, uh, physical size of a video, um, how to go about that. Um, my festival hall uh, little clip and a little bit of stuff that I've done with, to that. Okay, so after cuppa, Sue Viney uh, sent a clip at the last minute, a couple of days ago, um, of one of her meetings with her people that she's involved with the club, and they do that with Zoom. So I've, I've done a little bit of that, uh, two, two, two pieces. Sue, hope you like it.
and continuing on my uh, second of three parts of my walk of Paddington which was 20... I forget now 2012, 2012 I should read my notes OK, well, I think that should do um, I hope you're all safe and um, getting out and about a little bit better a bit more I haven't heard uh, Lucky chirp oh there he is, he just chirped then oh, you may have heard him um, he's just over there on the left on, the, on his little cage which I let him out and he can fly around in here or... so anyway yes yeah, thanks thank you for watching I'll talk to you again another day So Amy is talking to or interviewing Helen. People would see me coming with the camera and run family usually. But I got to, um, as, a, as a family, I was the one who did the birthdays. Uh, when my stepfather died, I did the funeral, my mother's 80s, all this sort of stuff. So Amy is talking to or interviewing Helen. People would see me coming with the camera and run family usually, but I got to, um, as, a, as a family, I was the one who did the birthdays. Uh, when my stepfather died, I did the funeral, my mother's 80s, all this sort of stuff. Okay, we're going to look at using Format Factory to convert a big file to a small file. OK, there's Format Factory. There's other uh, software to do this sort of thing. AVC, all video conversions. But anyway, this is Format Factory to make a, a file small enough to send to me or send to somebody else by email. So here we are, Format Factory. This is an older version. Uh, the newer ones look a bit different. On the left-hand side here, we see the different uh, formats uh, and you can scroll down MOV, VOB, MPG etc um, and it says all to MP4 or all to AVI this is if you have uh, two or more files set up uh, you'd probably do it overnight if it was a lot of files but it's just one file we're going to do so it, it just means all to AVI or all to MP4 it'll be just this one to MP4 the next thing is to um, ch check the the option of where the output file is going um, the default is to have this output to source file folder in other words what's going to happen is the file is going to go there if you switch that off then you can change to wherever you want the file to go go and look for it but anyway I'll check this tick this again output to source file folder that's where it's going to go there's a few other things here but we won't go into that at the moment okay apply okay so we're back here right now we'll go to we'll change it to an mp4 mp4 and now this window comes up, this window here, um, the output setting. Okay, so now on this, right at the top, there's uh, a drop down menu there. High quality and size, medium quality and size, low quality and size. In other words, that would be high quality, big megabytes, 
medium megabytes and low quality low megabytes so I'll click on that one and the, the size of the pixels is over here 320 by 240 much smaller picture from 1920 okay I'll say ok for that there's other things there but we won't go into that and the file um, uh, this is the file here the mp4 Wang interviewing Helen click on that and open there it is there 62 megabytes 31 seconds 1920 that's what it is at the moment so now to um, I'll say OK or down the bottom here is output to source file folder so that's OK uh, so I'll click OK now we're back to the main uh, screen the main window so there it is there Wang interviewing 62.9 megabytes all to mp4 well, it'll only be this one file and where it's going to so the next thing all we have to do is is to press start or the newer version it might be uh, convert or something but anyway press start and in this little box here give you a percentage uh, 30 seconds not going to take long uh, an hour movie or two hour movie or whatever a long long duration movie uh, could take a half an hour or an hour depends on the um, the amount of action in the movie if there's a lot of movement uh, it takes longer so it's not far from the end using format factory this is an open source application so it's absolutely free Windows and Linux okay so it's uh, going through for a second run now uh, this only happens in certain cases convert state uh, 25 percent so you have to be patient so if you have say uh, 10 five minute movies well you can expect a half an hour an hour or so come back after you've done some gardening 64 percent pretty well near the end now 86 and 93 up here 96 not completed now I've got a, um, an error message but that's not going to concern you so I'll just move file manager up um, I think you can see this so it's this one here number two and that is 1.9 megabytes from 66 megabytes to 1.9 megabytes So that's about all. Thank you very much. Corner of Charlotte and Albert Street. Building a big building there. And finally, get to the corner. The Festival Hall. That's where we wish to walk in there, Les to go to work. And there's the corner of the old boxing stadium and festival hall. Hello cinematographers. This is a, a short demonstration using chroma key 
well actually it's blue screen commonly called green screen uh, using a little piece of my walk I did in uh, September 2006 of Festival Hall so here we have Festival Hall at uh, the entrance there we used to walk through um, I did quite a bit of work when I was working with Phillips in the mid 1960s but I did uh, most of the uh, boxing, wrestling, uh, there were school concerts, the Waterside Workers Federation held their meetings there, they were, they were quite interesting. Uh, the Festival Hall, myself, the sound operator, getting the microphones in place and working, and the music, Bob Gibson and the wrestling and the boxing They're all staged of course and there's the uh, wrestling ring set up and quite a bit of text there to read of when it was uh, built 1910 The roller game was very popular at that time in the mid 1960s and I did most of those. Inside the main foyer of the apartments, this apartments now, uh, are the wooden, uh, what I should say, wooden piece of board which is on the back of each seat with all the numbers so when you booked a seat there was the number. So they've incorporated that with uh, various uh, photos of all sorts of people, uh, concerts, singers, bands. It would really be good for you to have a look at that and uh, spend a little bit of time back in time. Still Tuesday the 27th of July, I'm down at what they now call Festival Hall Towers, I think. This is where the old Festival Hall used to be. And uh, maybe one day or night, Les will see this. I'll take it to the dance. That's just inside the door. Festival Hall Walk of Fame. Should be able to recognise a few of these places. Faces, I should say, to Les. It's all uh, mostly music of wrestling ones or boxing but there's many other things of things that were held here at Festival Hall including uh, school plays and school dances Margaret Loon even used to hold her seniors event here and uh, Mari was part of one of that one day or was it night time There's the, uh, the rails of the seats with the numbers F67, F66, M28, K66, etc. And I think, I think if I remember rightly, um, up there through that doorway was our sound, uh, the amplifier and the sound room and the man on the um, the lights. John Wren, Chairman Stadium, Proprietary Limited, 1914 to 1955.
That's the uh, boxing, I think, not wrestling. Mick Burton used to handle most of the boxing nights and I did a fair bit of the wrestling nights. And up on the left hand corner there is on the uh, mezzanine floor, that window there is where Mick and I and the electrician used to look through. In the roller game, I did quite a few of the roller games. Honey Sanchez, Australian Thunderbirds grapples with Shirley Hardman, captain of the Texas Outlaws. Terry Lynch of the Los Angeles Thunderbirds, captain. He was very popular. Adeline Hocker, Ralph. Valadares, Australian Thunderbirds, and Liz Mendes, captain of Los Angeles Thunderbirds. Bob Gibson's orchestra, Australian, of course. I'm at the end, Daniel Johns, never heard of him. And anyway, well, I'll just walk along in parallel now. Nana Muscuri wrestling, Vienna Boys Choir, Tiger Chun wrestlers, Shirley Bassey, that was of course in later years. The seat is back there, that's the one of the boxing, Victor Borg. Beatlemania at Festival Hall, 1964. Right, a bit more wrestling, no boxing. Elton John, Chris Isaac, Bob Marley. A bit more Beatlemania. Wonder for that one. She settled down the Gold Coast many years ago in the Bolshoi Ballet rehearsal. It's time for our morning cuppa. Coffee, tea, plain water. Or even at home, well, you can always have a vino or a beer or a rum to go with the nibbles, biscuits and so forth. Hope you've enjoyed the show so far. We have more to follow. We'll, we'll be on. Okay. okay. Right. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello. Oh, hello. Good morning. How are you? Hello, Marcia. How are you? Oh. Good morning. Good morning. We'll, we'll be on. Okay. okay. Right. All right. Bye. Bye. Hello. Oh, hello. Good morning. How are you? Hello, Marsha. How are you? Oh. Number four, number four, tramway substation. Now, when electric trams were brought into, introduced to Brisbane in 1897. Ah. 
city council brought, uh, took over the, the Brisbane city council took over the tramway system in 1925. That's still on the Tribe Terrace and that's another Terrace there signboard pointing up to the left. I'll be going. I was over that over the outside the street there, the Tribe Terrace when I took the video of the tramway depot. Now that's the number five, the Ithaca Fire Station. Number five. It was opened in 1919. It was the Ithaca Fire Station, now exclusive photography. Looking down to the substation. Of course, in the little booklets, there are drawings or old photos of many of these buildings, not all of them but I don't include them in as they are of course copyright anyway this is my walk and my images in the Ithaca War Memorial Park walking across the street there's even a clock and it says 10 to 10 and I think that is the time I never knew this was here. Yes, it's 10 minutes to 10 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, War Memorial, 1914, 1919. That's looking south east. Down where I'll be walking around. That's a Nagra Terrace I walked. A little long there to get the photo on the other side and a few wreaths here. I think they're very old. Even the seat they built into the rocks. Never knew this existed. Number six. Number six is the Ithaca War Memorial. It's looking well, southeast over towards Tawong. And uh, this sign came up quite good, Sir Matthew Nathan. Easily read that at the foot of the monument something that I've driven past hundreds of times and uh, never never went to have a look at it. And now number seven, although I'm not sure what it is, number seven is Cook's Hill Garden and Embankment. We're going to walk down there. And War Memorial is just there on the right. Yes, well, I'm not sure about Cook's Hill Garden and Embankment, no, but there's, because it's so hilly, rather than um, cut the hill off, they've just made embankments at that time years ago to help beautify the place, but there's a, that's not an embankment there. It's looking back west to the train substation. This could be a part of the embankment here. I'll walk down from the wall and all. Not actually on the walk, but uh, worth mentioning, though, they do mention some of the houses here along the street. And it is a typical of the time.